When it comes to home energy efficiency, the first step you take is plugging all the holes. It's one thing to have an energy efficient air conditioning system, but a leaky house quickly negates any of those gains and ultimately ends up costing you money every month. And if you think you don't need to be concerned about that problem, let me present you with this fact. Most homes have a hole in them that's about this big. When you add up all the tiny holes, cracks, and crevices, and if you think finding and filling those gaps presents a daunting challenge, I'm with you on that one. The first step to fixing this problem is assessment. And in this case, we're gonna use a diagnostic tool called a blower door. I'm with Joe Thomas of Renewal System Solutions, a home energy efficiency company. And Joe is gonna conduct a blower door test on my house today. How does the test work? Well, Tom, what we do is we put a fan in the frame in the door, and we turn the fan on and depressurize the house to 50 pascals. Uh, nature abhors a vacuum. So anywhere that air can make it into the house, it will leak into the house through any, any holes anywhere in the house. So all of these cracks, holes, crevices are now going to become air inlets, and that's going to allow us to track them down. What is another factor we need to consider with these leaks? Well, there is one other uh, very important factor, and that's indoor air quality. When we talk about air leakage, uh, we're talking about it coming from the dirty parts of the house. A lot of it's coming in from the attic, which is one of the dirtier parts of the house, and from basements and crawl spaces as well. What are the types of places we're going to be looking? Uh, electrical penetrations, there are plumbing penetrations. Everywhere that you have a vent uh, for your HVAC system, those are penetrations in the building envelope. And they're often not sealed well. So that's the place for some of that dirty air to make it into your house. All right, well, let's get the door set up, and we can find some leaks. Okay. Here we go. Let's go leak hunting. While a smokestick is often used to find leaks, the method we used to indicate air infiltration was a couple of squares of toilet tissue. Wow. This one's just embarrassing. So with this area right here at my back door being a big problem, we're gonna seal this up real quick with some tape and then take a look at the readings and see how much this single problem is having an impact on the air exchanges here in the house. So with our threshold sealed here, went back out and looked at the reading and it's dropped to about 3,850 cubic feet per minute. So this one area was accounting for 100 cubic feet of air exchanging per minute. It calculates to probably about 3% of the uh, leakage that we're, that we're measuring. Well, my blower door test was a real eye opener. It was amazing to find all the leaks that we did and frankly, in places that I least expected. This diagnostic test is just one component of a larger whole house energy assessment that Joe's company performs. And when I fix some of the major issues, I'm gonna realize a significant energy savings right away. Having a blower door test done, that's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Stay connected by becoming a fan of our Facebook page and spread the green by sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.